Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM at the ARRL Laboratory. Let's take a look at this little but very powerful MFJ Model 223 Antenna Analyzer. Well, here it is, the MFJ 223. To turn it on, press down on this knob on top for a couple of seconds. It'll beep a few times and then the screen shows up. This is your help menu and the corresponding button down here. System, which tells you the specifications of the instrument and allow you to change the language on the screen. Single frequency mode or a scan mode. Let's take a look at a 10 meter antenna we have on the roof of headquarters that's been acting up lately. Let's investigate. We'll go into the single frequency mode, press the button. Now we'll adjust the frequency up here okay, with this knob rotating it around by at this point 100 hertz and so I'm going to adjust it to 29 megahertz. Now I'll hit the run button and we have simultaneous displays. The top one is the SWR, that's the green one. Shows that I'm having about a have about a 1.7 to 1 SWR. Next line down is the resistance of the antenna. We have the reactance, the next line down. Then we have what the DDS is doing here. Now if I stop this, this is important. I have this little indication down here that pops up every once in a while. It pops up in red. That lets me know that if I have a strong signal nearby that could be causing this instrument to have erroneous readings. How many times have you worked out in the field and you're really puzzled by what you've uh, gotten on your meter only to know that it's a local transmitter nearby? This will give you indication down here if there's an issue. So here we are again. Now let's take a sweep of the antenna. I'll go to the back button, the return button, and we'll use the scan function. I'm going to scan it around the center of uh, 20... 8.5. That's a good place to look. Now, from here to here, right now it's set up for 1.2 megahertz from side to side. That's the span adjustment. Now we'll hit the scan button, press it, and pretty soon there'll be a little chart coming up and it'll show me what the SWR is from here to here. Now, what frequency am I looking at? Well, this little red line that goes vertically right here is your cursor. Right now I'm looking at 28.5 and the SWR is 2.65 to 1. Ooh, not quite satisfactory. I'll rotate the knob and we'll find the dip in the screen. Right down to the bottom here, couldn't you see that folks? Right down here and we can read the SWR of 1.35 to 1 at 28.88 megahertz. A nifty little chart. This instrument does a lot. This antenna analyzer's internal battery is charged with a USB cable. Plug it in. There's your charging indicator, that red LED. It turns green when it's all charged. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARRL Laboratory.